hi everyone uh thanks for uh, watching this quick video probably my first time and i'll uh, make sure that i keep on coming up with more um valuable videos and give you more insights on what is going on in and around the ai field now ai is generally the most uh, discussed and the most um, favorite topic right now amongst all the uh, people that you see around right so from uh, starting from the organizations to the erps to the governments to the uh, small um, scale organizations so every each and every person is talking about ai right now ai is known as is, is known as artificial intelligence now uh, there are multiple ai tools available in the market today and there are a lot of things that you can automate there are a lot of tasks that you can automate uh, with the help of those tools but then uh, today's topic or today's discussion uh, will be quickly around oracle uh, and what oracle erp or what oracle cloud applications has given us with respect to the uh, ai um, uh, tool or ai functionalities now oracle has given us an oracle ai agent studio right and this oracle ai agent studio helps you automate multiple tasks in in oracle with respect to or across domains and across modules right now the current version of oracle ai agent studio runs around human capital management hcm and supply chain management hcm uh, in future in the quarterly updates oracle will come up and will surely cover the different domains and different modules and will add up more um, insightful informations uh, in this uh, studio and it will add up more functionalities which will uh, which will even automate more tasks um, uh, in our uh, in and around daily operations right so um, what is ai agent studio ai agent studio as i told you is automating your uh, daily operational uh, task or probably uh, building up uh, the agents by your own that will that that you need around the tasks that you do on the daily basis or the information or the things that you need help uh, on your daily basis right so as you as you can see on my screen is the oracle um, applications home page right whenever you log in into the applications now um, if you want to go on to the um, ai agent studio you just simply go on to the tools and here you see the ai agent studio um, box right or the link that you click and once you click on this you will enter the ai agent studio which is which this is which serves as your home page now you see there are multiple and multiple of templates given to you by oracle right and these templates help you automate multiple tasks or probably the targeted tasks that you want to do as you as you can read uh, there is a template or there is an ai agent for your leave and absence which is known as leave and absence analyst there is an agent which says good delivery advisor leave and absence analyst talent advisor and this is varied across different families and products so when you click on families you see there are multiple families that are coming up right now maybe uh, because this is a public demo there is some problem or or, the, or sometimes this is a network that 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 has the problem in but then when you click on family it gives you multiple families for an example um, uh, supply chain human capital management as you can see right i've i've just reduced the uh, screen size supply chain human capital management finance is just yet to come then your projects and other thing if you click on product then it will give you different um, breakdowns under the different heads or different domains for an example under under human capital management you get all these right so it is giving you all that now um i know there are multiple uh, topics that have come up there were there are multiple write-ups that have come up uh, to tell you that what are what is ai agent studio how it goes through ai agent things and other things but then i'll quickly 
take you through uh, each of this and try to build something um, and I'll wrap up quickly because uh, short video is always a good and an insightful video right so building so this is what your um, sequence goes you will have to have a business object business object is something that acts as in what exactly you want your agent to probably do or what you want your agent to probably work upon right deep links is something that you want your agent to navigate more into the system and go on to a particular um, page or go or go on to a particular screen wherein you want to find some information topics again if you want to have some more readable uh, top uh, give give some more readable topics give give some more readable policies then you can give this right and then you have tools now tools is something wherein you have your business object you have your deep links built in at one place and you say that okay these tools will be used by the agents and then agents will work under the agent team so this is how the sequence goes right now after the after the tools you see there are multiple agents right now if i okay i've, I've searched you see multiple agents uh there had to be multiple agent teams these are all agent teams that are that that are being built because it is a public uh, demo so there are multiple agent teams built by multiple users across globe right so if you if you see that okay if i say that okay let's let's go to the business object and uh, build a business object i click on add we go on to a business object i'll select the family as a supply chain okay then i maybe under the family the product could be order management because uh, let's let's target the sales order let us give something as in this name it automatically replicates uh, this under the code let us have a monolith resource because we want to have this information to be pulled up from the um, api we have multiple things to be selected here but then let us talk about the api today okay i uh, go on to the api here right uh, this is the api what i have what i have filtered down let's just have the api here and i'll give the description is get the sales order information okay i'll go on below i'll say now what we'll do is we'll pick up whatever is needed from this uh, api so let us say get i need the information so i'll select the get function done right now uh, let's just have some field uh, specifications from this um, get api i need the order number uh, let's just have the business unit name let's just have the created by no i don't want created by let's just have the status okay right now we'll we'll have this information done you can give examples so that your um, ai understands your your uh, intentions well okay click on this uh business in it has no description okay i don't have any description here i'll put a description this gets the bu name done then put this description here this gets the status done done 